The Texas mall shooting has once again caused an uproar from the left about banning mall weapons and passing more firearm legislation. There has also been an uproar on social sites with many questioning, who needs a weapon like an AR-15 or AK-47? And hollow tips are so brutal, why would you need a bullet like that? So, let's explore why some individuals would need firearms like the AR-15 and the use of hollow point bullets. The first thing people need to realize is that the police is here to enforce the law. They are not here to protect you. The military is here to defend the country. The only entity designed to protect the people are the people themselves. In most middle to lower class neighborhoods, try calling the police for help and see how long they take to come if they ever do come. Citizens need to have proper means to protect themselves for all threats, even a foreign government invasion. Citizens also need their weapons for instances of civil unrest. Let's take a historical look back to just 1989, Beijing, China, to demonstrate this point. In 1989, during the Tiananmen Square protests in Beijing, China, the pro-democracy movement, primarily led by students and intellectuals, called for political reforms, freedom of speech, and an end to corruption within the Chinese government. The protests began in April 1989 and quickly gained momentum, with hundreds of thousands of people, including students, workers, and ordinary citizens, participating in peaceful demonstrations in Tiananmen Square, which is a prominent public space in Beijing, just like LGBT and BLM would today in Times Square. However, as the protests continued and grew in size, the Chinese government declared martial law on May 20th, 1989, in an attempt to quell the demonstrations. Negotiations between the government and protest leaders faltered, leading to a violent crackdown on June 3rd and 4th. On the night of June 3rd, the Chinese authorities deployed the military, including the People's Liberation Army, or PLA, armed with rifles and other weapons, to clear the square forcefully. Troops and riot police used tear gas, batons, and firearms against the protesters and bystanders, resulting in numerous injuries and deaths. The exact number of casualties from the Tiananmen Square massacre remains a subject of debate due to government censorship and limited access to information. However, Estimates range from several hundred to potentially thousands of people killed, with thousands more injured or arrested. A rally of Beijing citizens that could rightfully bear arms would never have resulted in the deaths of Beijing people in that fashion. Now, let's address the controversy surrounding hollow point bullets. We heard the president questioning who in God's name would need such a thing. But let's first go into detail of what a hollow tip bullet is and what they're for. Hollow point bullets are designed for self-defense and safety to everyone but the target. Hollow point bullets are meant to expand upon impact, increasing stopping power. This expansion creates a larger wound channel, potentially incapacitating a target more effectively than other bullet types. Additionally, hollow point bullets are designed to reduce the risk of overpenetration. This means they are less likely to pass through a target and endanger bystanders or objects behind it, and the last thing we want is for good citizens to be harmed in the process of good citizens stopping a bad one. The controlled expansion helps minimize collateral damage, making them a preferred choice in certain self-defense scenarios. It's important to remember that personal safety and self-reliance go hand in hand. While it may be natural for you to seek protection from others, relying solely on external entities might not always be feasible. We should take personal precautions and be aware of potential threats in our surroundings. We should also remember it's crucial to continue enforcing background checks to ensure responsible firearm ownership. We also need to be vigilant and cautious about individuals who may pose a danger to society. See you next time.